Yo, wait a minute. Quit playing with your body already. We got work to do. We need to take Glow Box to the Witch Doctor. Hey, Freddy, what's, get, what's going on? Welcome back for more Rayman 3. Where? Yeah, we're going to be doing just that. We need to take Glow Box to the Witch Doctor and clearly a forest. Hell, Geronimo! If you think this, if you thought this game was awesome up to this point. What? That was weird. I think this game is awesome up to this point. You didn't see nothing yet. This works in the state. Uh, this is just. Wow, I fell right off the bat. I praise it and it just fell. Wow, that's a great omen for things to come. Okay, so basically, all this is just an obstacle, an obstacle course where you just surfboard on what looks like a rocket, in, a rocket engine. This, uh, it's got amazing visuals. It's got some damn good music to it. And no offense to my recognition, but I'm hearing kill them all. You tell me, Paul here, it doesn't kill you or anything, or. Damage you need to make it perform. You just lose points, which is also happens when you take damage from enemy fire. Which I seem to be doing pretty well up to this point, actually, despite the fact that I failed at the beginning. Yeah, I'm ashamed. Yeah, I should be ashamed of that shitty performance. You know. I'm hoping... Or was it removed in this game? I think it was. It's where that thing can actually say different things like, Check it out, I can fly like a helicopter too! And again, I'm also, I'm also remembering this from the um, original Rayman 3. Let's think of things that, that was removed from Rayman 3. When we get to Clearly Forest, I'll demonstrate one of those things that have been removed. Now let's just skateboard across these pathways, get out our gems. There we go. More of the story for me, never be fancy. As in stretch. I don't know why it's a rainbow gate, but hey, whatever. Technically speaking, um, it is for a gay pride, so I guess. Listen to this here. Okay, you're just 
complaining that you're t you're stuck in in Globox's gut now. You're trying to keep us from getting to the doctor. Don't you want to be outside of Globox's gut? Just saying. Also, that thing I was making earlier. This is it. Andre was still flipping around like a fish, but my minor gripe of the HD version of this in the remake is that Globox used to say amazing little gems like used to be nicer in Rayman 2 and if I had a hammer stuff like that. Which made Globox really fun to just punch. But it's kind of dumb that it's not it's just not present in this version. Again, okay, you... Okay, come on. There you go. Okay, so something should be happening here. Yes! There you go. Enjoy your new husband. <laughs> okay, that right there, when I mentioned cages, that is one of the mini cages that we're going to be saving in here. There are, there are cages like that that are required that are just going to I'll be a, I guess, advances each, each stage. Great. Uh, if you keep bouncing on that for too long, yeah, that's just death right there, and just. I believe the damage just keeps, keeps stacking higher and higher and higher. Oh no, shit, that's not very nice. I mean, the, the bad guys, after all. Let's get the red lum bless your health and I know I'm supposed to help save the TNTs, but I'm gonna stop it, damn it. All in binary. Just like the two genders. <laughs> okay, um... Hoodlum attacks the entire world. His only concern is... Grilling a good steak. And that's all you can do, then make sure you really enjoy the steak. <laughs> that's all I can say about that. Well, so here. Hopefully I can show off that second thing. Nope. Uh, unfortunately the hurricane face just kind of... Kind of wore off before I actually got a chance to show it. But go ahead and... Oh my god, we got this! Creepy looking gate in the way. Yeah, we got more hudmongers here, so it's going to take them out. If you melee attack is nothing get rid of mine. Let's knock him out. Come on. There we go. We got our next power up. Cobots, they're not disguises, they're power ups. This one is the Hammer Fist. Yeti. It increases the strength of our um, 
punches. Step four. You can knock out wind gates, such as the one that's in the way. Something I neglected to mention is that while you while you have your power up, points are worth double. The, unfortunately, that also means that if you get hit or anything like that, you lose double the points as well. So if you're relying on this uh, to get a massive combo, be wary of getting attacked. Even though the point penalty isn't all that taxing, still. Alright, alright, whatever, Andre. We're getting you your drink. Jesus. Just don't have so many damn hoodlums in a rain. We'll get you your damn drink. Taking a... Okay, it should be the last one before we get into a new, something new here. It is. That drink that Andre was demanding. It's right there. Didn't show it. Yeah, that's a lot of plum juice, wouldn't you say? A lot of plum juice. And also that, um, Wellbox is allergic to plum juice. I don't buy it. Okay, get here all at well, but he's saying holy crap. Sadly, this is the only swimming you ever do in the entire game. Yay! As you go up, you got, um... Piranhas just attempting to bite you on your way up. Really not that hard to dodge. All you gotta do is just swim left and right, and... Of course I get hit by one, but getting hit by one isn't really all taxing. You don't go back very far. Really, not that difficult to get through. Overall, this isn't all that difficult of a game. As I state that right now, there are a couple challenging points. Overall, this game is relatively relatively easy. Jesus, Andre, didn't you just drink an entire keg of plum juice? Now you're demanding more? Seriously, how much do you plums even drink in the first place? I mean, jeez. Can you scrunny, tiny little body even take that much plum juice? Hey, I've heard of overhydrating, but that just takes it to a whole new level. Damn. And sure enough, yeah, there is some more plum just right here. I right hear just some standard guns and... You would think guns would be better than fists, but nope, I guess not in this case. Right, yeah, there you are. Alright. Just punch you out. And there we go, there's that lock on thing that I mentioned earlier. As far as I can just show what, hap what happens in the use of Hurrican Fist in battle. Yeah, Wait a minute, can you not jump a simple ledge? Eh, uh, whatever. 
Yeah, unfortunately we can't get to that at the moment, because, yeah. Anyway, if he uses a battle... Yeah, you shrink him. They're Yeti. much easier to kill as a result. There's various little small things like that, but... For the most part, that's what the Hurricane Fist will do for you, and that's the, just of the power of a roll. For now... Right, I didn't have the fist fully charged. Okay, we for okay, we back for the power up just for the sake of getting that green gem get that green gem. There are there, there are quite a few of those just hidden around. They're the most viable, but there's also in a there if I can talk right. There's also an achievement for um knocking down a gate that's in your way normally. No. For finding all the green ge green gems. I need to mention a galaxy far, far away. Can this... There were seven remakes and it's... Christ, it's the label of a sequel, this is the start of a reboot, this Hey, <laughs> no thought movies aren't, re aren't really all that good. We gotta go to, yeah. And just, of all purpose, just for the sake of getting more gems. But if you can glide all the way over here. Actually, yeah, I kinda have to. You got access to, yeah, another new power. It's my dogens. Well, I kind of get a grip. Yep, the grappling hook. Yeti. Not necessarily my favorite power up in the game, but it's definitely a very, very good one. And combat does something really awesome. Again, I wasn't able to show there because, yeah, I gotta be on solid ground for that and not just bounce like around like a lunatic. I'll, be, I'll definitely be sure to show it next time we get, the, get into a fight with the hoodlum. It should be right around the corner here. Yeah, it's quite a shocker, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> it lacks on enemies and shocks them. Originally, I don't think I'm gonna get that double points from the. Oh, I'll just barely able to. Yeah, as an after effect from drinking so much plum juice. Globox is drunk. Which makes me think that's not just plum juice, but more so it's like plum flavored vodka or something like that along those lines. Makes sense. It, I mean, it, it could very well be the case. 
A couple piggy banks up here to smash those up. Take all the hoodlums life savings. Give us your lunch money. It's not like a bully actually. Yep. Yeah. We're being a very pleasant card game. Break something. Okay, I know you're frustrated with something, but seriously, you gotta break something? I know how strafing works, game. You don't need to remind me. That's three pink tutorials things just just bothers me. <clears throat> and how are you alive right now if you never mind. Stop brother questioning the stupidity here. Yeah, we need to take this plum and throw it on a spike. Plums are typically so heavy that it will slow you down quite a bit. Oh, and between episodes, I'm gonna be um, playing the um, bonus game. Which is what I'm going to do right now, actually. Starting with the, the first one unlock. 2D Madness. So 2D Madness is a really, really... Oh, the first one unlock, as I said before. But it's definitely a good one. The main thing you got to do here is... Well, is the um, goal to collect gems. In addition to that, we got these limbs that, that are going to be popping up. One punch to the face just does them in. We got these sort of cute, sort of creepy clouds that we just bounce on that are just trampolines. Or the Amaya springboard. It's, it can be kind of challenging, but at the same time, it's awesome. This really takes me back to the original Rayman for the PS1. Which I may or may not help me in my channel. I don't know yet, for sure. There's the beautiful fruit. In. Yeah, thank you, Mosquito. You gotta constantly just carry that fruit around with you. Here's an idea, Mosquito. Why don't you bite into one of those things? Maybe you wouldn't want to use that as a weapon against us so freaking often. Okay, there's that one green gem right there. Ay! That was doing so well! Okay, here we go. Actually, might come on. Is that spiked fruit? The um vine, thankfully, isn't spiked. So we got that bit of good news. Okay, almost there. We just made, and there we go. We done it. Madness is a wrap. Now, I'm I'm gonna say this out right up front. Just because I've completed 2D Madness doesn't mean I'm gonna complete every last one of these mini bonus games. I'll show them off, but I don't think I'm gonna be completing them. From this one, I'm just gonna be showing you what these mini games are like and just how they play. But all that being said and done, next time on Let's Play Rare Man 3. We'll be continuing through the clearly forest and hopefully get go back to that medical doctor in clearly forest. See you guys then.
What do you mean Rayman can't swim?